Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So if you are someone who has passed masters with chemistry or who is still is in masters with chemistry, in that case, what are the options which you have after qualifying your masters? What are the different options which you have? So three major options which you have first is that you join somewhere, some lab as a PhD student, join as a research scholar, complete your PhD, then go for either as, uh, become as a scientist or become assistant professor. That's the first way. The second option which you have is join a industry, join a, a industry which require chemical like people from chemistry background. Generally, they are public sector undertakings or PSUs which give handsome salary. In case if you don't want to go in research, this is a way or this is a op option which you have after qualifying masters. And the third option which you have is to join some government organization which requires people from chemistry background. Uh, organizations like DRDO, BERC. So these organizations, they also require people from chemistry background and they uh, hire after masters itself. So these three options which you have, GATE is an exam which opens the GATE for all these three options. So I'll be talking about the importance of GATE exam, why actually you should give this exam and what exactly is the importance of it in detail in this particular video just after this introduction part. So I will be talking about GATE exam in detail in this video. Okay, See, a particular exam, how serious it is or how important it is, not only for the student, but also for the whole country, for all the organizations which are associated with it, how important it is. It is very well viewed if you look upon the, uh, like how that exam is being conducted. Okay, So if you see the GATE exam, it is one of those exams which is conducted as per the schedule, as per per uh, how they mention in their brochure there is very few times gate has been like you know uh, postponed or rescheduled and the cycle of the gate has also not been broken every year gate exam has been conducted so the seriousness of this exam the importance of this exam people who are conducting it they also know it right so for uh, like people who are from technical background like btech mtech those students they know how important gate exam is for them but for pure sciences also means for chemistry life sciences physical sciences for us also this gate exam is very important this is one of the exam as i said this opens up opportunity or it gives you an eligibility to apply in different fields so that's where the importance of this gate exam comes in the first and the most important thing for which gate makes you eligible for is to apply as a phd scholar to apply in institutes now i'm not talking about universities i'm not talking about state universities i'm not talking about csir labs because with gate you cannot apply in these places but gate makes you eligible to apply in iits in isers in nits in iasc so in all the top places in all the like premium institutes that's what we call them in all these institutes you can apply through your gate score so if you have a good gate score you can apply in these institutes even if you have an average gate score in that case also uh, you there are chances that you might get a shortlisted for the interview you perform in the interview if you give answers over there if you satisfy the examiners the interviewers there are high chances that you will be qualified and you will be taken as a phd scholar in in these institutes in these premium institutes there are many students who have uh, like got into these phds and and very important point over here i want to make that the fellowship which you get after qualifying uh, like after getting into these institutes through gate is also equivalent to what you get after qualifying jrf so even if you don't have jrf you don't have net but if you have a gate and you have went through these uh, interview and if you have joined any of these iits isers nits iisc in that case you uh, will be getting equivalent amount of fellowship which a jrf student will be getting and of course the infrastructure of these institutes iits and all i'm not talking about each and every iit but yes all the top iits all the isers iasc the infrastructure is top notch over there so the research quality is not you know it's not uh, compromised in these places so gate becomes very important if you are thinking about joining as a research scholar of course csr net is one of them but gate is also another option or another door or another way how you can go into research and that's why you should give this exam if you are willing to join as a research scholar 
keep giving CSR net, but along with that, keep giving gate also because there are chances that if let's say you don't qualify CSR JRF, in that case, this gate will help you to get into PhD and uh, like complete your PhD with a good fellowship in a good institute. So that's the first benefit of it, right? The second one, as I was telling you, is uh, you can join PSUs. PSUs are public sector undertakings. There are uh, certain in, uh, like industries, institutes, uh, which hire people based upon gate score. And these places have special uh, vacancies. I've, all the vacancies are very limited, but still they have special vacancies for people from chemistry, institutes like ONGC, uh, institute like uh, IUCL. So these institutes, they hire, these are all PSUs, okay? So they hire people based upon gate score. The way to get into it is highly competitive because you need to get un into top 100 or top 200 of the gate rank so you should be among the top hundreds of the gate uh, of the people who have qualified gate but if you are someone who has worked hard and if you get those uh, single digit double digit rank in that case there are chances that you will be called for interview in these PSUs once you qualify those interview you will be into these PSUs and uh, the salary which you get over there is very good it's like uh, quite high okay I cannot quote the exact amount but yes it is quite high and the job is also very res uh, respectful job also one thing is that many people are not interested to go in research or they are not interested to go into phds and all because everybody is not willing to do that they want some job after doing their masters okay so this is one of the way in which you can get go into a semi-government institute and get a handsome salary get a job and a respectful job for throughout your life right so that is the second uh, opportunity which gate provides you so if you qualify gate again i'm telling for this the competition is very high because only top people or those who are from the top ranks they are only called for interviews and you have to qualify interview also vacancies are also very limited every year every institute does not uh, open up their vacancies also but you have to be patient you have to work hard if, if you want to do it try to get a double digit rank at least and in that case your chances will be high to get into these PSUs. Now talking about the third opportunity, the third thing is to get into a government institute, government organization, not institute, I will call it organization. So organizations like BARC, that is Baba Atomic Research Center, then DRDO. Uh, so these organizations, they also hire people uh, like for scientist positions like they hire directly for scientist b scientist a position so for that in order to there are two ways to go into them one is through their entrance and the second way is through the gate rank okay so if you have good gate rank good gate score that means if you are among top 400 top 500 in the gate uh, like in the gate score or in the gate rank in that case there are chances that you will be called for an interview in these organizations once you qualify or once you complete the interview process completely you will be given the job of a scientist position. So this again is like opportunity. If you are someone who don't want to do research, but want to join some uh, like these institutes, because uh, we have been uh, like, you know, we, we are taught about these institutes since our childhood that yes, these are big institutes which are working for our country. And uh, like inside every uh, scientist or inside every person who is associated with science, they have a dream of getting into these organizations which are in the forefront and working for the country right like drdo barc isro so again gate provides you that opportunity to get into it so all in all what i want to tell you is this gate form are out okay forms are already out uh, you if you are like someone who is in masters or who have qualified masters and who is only uh, like thinking about CSIR net or thinking about something else as their career options, I will recommend you to at least give gate exam because this is something which is going to make you eligible for so many different things. Like it will make you eligible to apply for a PhD, for a job in a PSU or in an organization. So it gives you all the options open for you, right? So that's why uh, this exam becomes important and that's where it is uh, like highly recommended to apply for this it is conducted every year i guess all of you know the next gate exam will be in the month of february forms are out now form filling is already being done if you guys are interested please do let me know i will make a full video on how to fill the form step by step guide for that but yeah this video was just to motivate you just to create an awareness that gate exam uh, gate forms are there uh, they are out there fill those form 
give this exam give your best and get into any of these opportunities so these opportunities are very crucial okay try to grab them try to get them and that's all for this particular video if you have any other question you can ask me in the comment section below i have just told about three important uh, like aspect of great gate exam there are various other like even if you go in some uh, like uh, um, private institute if you try to join a private organization or a private uh, like firm where you want to do job after your masters there also gate score plays an important role like they sometimes see your gate score and based upon that they judge that whether you are good or not uh, same way if you uh, want to do phd abroad sometimes some pis over there they ask for your gate score they also know that yes gate is a all india level exam and if you have got good gate score uh, they are like impressed with that okay so that thing also happens so yeah gate plays a very very important role in a particular student's life who is in masters and who is willing to shape his future who is willing to you know pursue his future in the chemistry field itself so that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching if you have any other question you can let me know in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there itself and do let me know if you want a detailed video of form filling for the gate exam so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care